Hi friends, so this video I am going to share you the H1B experience which I had in the Chennai Consulate. So if you are preparing for your H1B interview, then this video would be useful where I will share the experience of how I prepared for the interview, what are the documents needed, what are the documents I took and what happened in the interview. Let's get started. So in your H1B process, you would have been selected in lottery. The employer would have applied petition on behalf of you and you would have received approval notice. So after that, you would have logged into US travel docs and scheduled visa interview. So when I applied, the centralized processing was in Chennai and Hyderabad. I selected the location as Chennai. In my case, I already had B1, B2 visa. So as per the policy in 2023, I was eligible for a Dropbox. So the system allowed me to directly go to Dropbox with visa waiver. So I selected Chennai as Chennai and the Hyderabad are the only two location in throughout India for Dropbox. But January 1, 2024, things changed. The new policies came into picture and if you had B1 and B2, you would not be eligible for Dropbox for H1B. I have posted a separate video more on this. You can take a look at it for much, much more detailed information. So I was issued 221G and officer asked me to come to embassy for an interview. So that's how my visa interview journey started with Chennai embassy. So my employer had given one bunch of documents around 300 pages starting from the office picture, his tax violation for the past two years, his all his office processing related information along with that the LCA petition approval. So I had printed out the entire set of document and a separate booklet around 300 pages I took. The timing for me was 9 to 11 am. So I had gone there around roughly by 8, 8.30. So outside the embassy we were made to stand and by 9 o'clock they would be verifying your 221G which is white slip for me and they let me in. So as soon as you enter you would be going through the security check and then you would be going to a counter where they would be verifying your petition approval. Copy of the document is enough, the original is not needed anywhere. So once the petition is verified they would be making you to stand in a queue which is a common queue for H1B. So through that queue, we have to wait for some time. So I was waiting there for around one hour. After that, I went to a counter. So once I went to the counter, I was not much nervous. I was very cool. So the visa officer asked me to provide me the I-129 and the LCA. She didn't ask me the petition approval since it was verified in the previous counter. So I gave that, she asked me whether I am going for an existing employer or a, or a new employer. So it was a new employer in my case. So she said that I have to wait for some more time and she needs to do some background verification of the employer. And I was given a yellow slip, a small slip which says please stay, please stay in the waiting room and uh, the consulate officer will call you back. So that is how it started and I was waiting. Around, along with me around 10 more were waiting. So we were waiting for more than 2 hours and finally by 1 o'clock or so I was again called by the officer and again I was given a 221G slip. This time the officer said that they need more time for administrative processing and they couldn't take a decision on the case. So they said if they need any more document they would be contacting me or else they would be giving a status on the case after some time. So that is how my visa interview was and if you want to know the questions and more questions which are being asked which I discussed with the other colleagues over there, I have posted a separate video, video on H1B questions, you can take a look at that. So if you get a 221G, no need to panic because nothing is there in our end. From our end, they will, they will not get any documents. It's all about employer's verification so that we don't get exploited when we go there. So if you are given a 221G, just be relaxed and walk out and you have to just stay and give, give it a, and you have to give it back to the luck. So if you have a luck, then you would be approved. Otherwise, nothing is in our hand. So I hope this helped for uh, those who are uh, preparing. The documents 
you have to take you take everything whatever your employer is giving from the petition approval lca i129 and your degree certificates copies your previous work experience copies have a photograph and whatever additional proof i even took family family photo so and whatever possible whatever documents you can you just carry it because you need not worry when you have all the documents if at all they ask something you you can take and give it okay so if you have any questions do post in the comment section i will try to answer my best all the best to those who are applying for h1b visa i'll catch up in another video take care bye bye